stay my husband brought home a samosa maker. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in it. I've never used one of these before. This is my first time. So what I've done is I've got one slice of beef, a carrot, some potatoes, an onion, one teaspoon of the chicken stock powder, one teaspoon of garlic, and one cup of um, water. Now I'm not sure how many pieces of puff pastry I'm going to need, so I'll let you know after. And uh, first of all, I'm going to fry these all up, then I'm going to add the water, then I'm going to add the garlic and the stock and the curry paste, and then I'm going to cook it until it is tender. Then I'll thicken it up and I'll put it in the samosas maker. I'll show you in a minute. So what I did was I put one dessert spoon of the Audi curry paste. I also put a quarter of a cup of coconut cream in this as well. And I used some flour to thicken it. I've also added salt and pepper to taste. And I also added one teaspoon of sugar because I felt that it needed to be balanced that way. Now the first thing it, the, um, the instructions say is to wipe this out with a wet cloth. So I've done that. Then it says to oil this. So I'm going to oil it and then I'm going to put the puff pastry on. I used a coconut spray to, um, and I sprayed it all over the machine to oil it. I put two sheets of pastry. It's taken two sheets for the bottom and of course it was going to take two sheets for the top. So then I'm going to place my filling in there. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, this is, I've put the actual filling in the little triangles and now I'm going to put the actual top on. Right, I've put my top on and then I'm going to close the machine. Now I've used a whole packet of this puff pastry, but it'll make quite a few samosas. I still have some mixture left and I also have two and a half pieces of the puff pastry. Now I'll show you what it looks like so far. This is it so far. Yep. Looks good doesn't it? I keep lifting the lid because I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be completely done. I'm looking for a little bit more colour on here and then I'll take it out and serve it. Yep. For $29 I really feel that this is definitely worth it. You could also use your puff pastry to do apples, apple and cinnamon and sugar, or you could do um, cheese and spinach, or even ham, cheese, or even little pizza ones. So I think this is definitely worth its money. The end result, it made 24 here and I've still got all these to go and I'm going to put this back down and cook it, continue to cook it. Thank you guys for watching our channel. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in our next uh, video. Bye.